Good morning. That was a horrible night's sleep. <laughs> there was this little, like, quokka looking fella, non stop, all night long, around our tent, making so much mischief. And uh, it was just too hot. It was just, it was too hot in that tent. So um, we had to have the windows open, and therefore we got annihilated by mosquitoes and midges but not complaining because we did get a little bit of sleep and the weather looks beautiful a little bit of pink over here a lot of the yachts have left already it is extremely extremely low tide so now i think time for a hot drink and then uh, get ready So, what's happening there? The largest mug in the world. Yeah, we definitely didn't uh, pack everything properly. We forgot a mug. Oh, it's very salty. I forgot we washed this with salt water. <laughs> Yuck. Go camping, they say. Huh? Oh. oh no. What can we do? Why does it smell fishy? We didn't cook fish in this. Use the the sponge. Oh, the fish sponge. <laughs> and another fail for Chris and Ange. You'd think we'd be used to this sort of thing by now. <laughs> Amateurs. Oh, so we both had our delicious uh, hot drink. Chris is boiling some water to make his breakfast. I'm just checking very quickly the weather condition. Although we had checked the weather when we were in Lucinda and everything was looking good, especially this morning, it's amazing on this island. We've got a bit of 4G so we can still update the weather forecast. So that's definitely something that I didn't expect. So we're using the app Windy, which was recommended to us to check. We found that overall it always looked better on Windy than it is on the water, like the past times that we try to go on the water but I don't know if you use another app just let us know in the comments like anything boat related we use as well eyes on the reef uh, for the mapping zone to know if we can go fishing or not and Navionics just to record our distance or speed and our routes but yeah that's the free apps we use right now so if you've got any other let us know Oh, and Chris as well used the Queensland Fishing 2.0 something for the oh, yeah. fish regulation. But yeah, this morning I'm just kind of like looking right now. If I click, um, we are right here at the moment, 8 km an hour. And we're going to go up towards Peloras in that little channel or just above. Probably just above, yeah. And it's looking, oh, it's getting better throughout the morning and then it picks up in the afternoon. Seems like the pattern was uh, like around this area, like always nice mornings and picks up. So, yeah, it's good that we are awake nice and early. It's not even 6 a.m. yet. <laughs> so we'll have breakfast and we'll get ready. Oh, right. Day two, bring it on.
Yeah, the front of the spoke, because it's like a cat, it makes it so easy. I can just dangle my legs off the edge. So, um, got my new wetsuit from Seabuck. This is the Vanquish 2.0, so it's actually a little bit of an upgraded version from the one I originally had. Used it yesterday, it was so nice. I'm certainly not getting cold in this 5 mil, that's for sure. And then I got new gloves, new booties, I've upgraded everything really, and a new mask. So um, yeah, good to go. Unfortunately lost my uh, dive knife yesterday, so I just got a knife on board here, so if I need to spike a fish, I have to come up to the boat and you can chuck me the knife and I'll stab it then. Or I just need to be a really good shot. And got the new carbon fibre fins as well. So nice, really light. It's taking me a bit to get used to, but I like them. All right, suit up time. All right, so Chris is already in the water, but because it's snow coming, it's absolutely beautiful morning. I've got my snorkel and I'll join him in the water. We put the anchor, he went to test it, working well. So we're all good to go. Beautiful morning. Oh, how good was that? Amazing. Yeah, so shot a little stripy sea perch, also called a Spanish flag. <laughs> um, just in size, so that'll be perfect for dinner for Angie and I tonight. So it takes the pressure off the fishing. I'll probably go out soon and check out the rocks up that way. Um, don't know if Angie filmed, but there was a little tiny tropical uh, rock lobster in a little rock, but I knew we couldn't eat it, so I just thought I'd try and grab it anyway, but he was so fast. <laughs> Ears aren't doing so good. I definitely need um, a lot more work diving before I can get my um, get some depth back. My ears just don't seem to be uh, equalizing at all. They're even hurting on the way up, which is weird. But um, that's all good. It's nice and shallow and beautiful in here. So I'll head that way, see if there's any larger fish. And um, yeah, just see what's going on. Didn't see any sharks today. There were a few hanging around yesterday, but yeah, it was cool to have Ange out with me.
I really enjoyed this little dive with Chris. That was really nice. I'm glad I jumped in. It was actually no current at all. So it was really peaceful dive and so much more going on than I thought it would be. And I was saying to Chris the last time I went snorkeling, that was probably around the Ningalu area. And I felt like this spot are way more coral and even like fish diversity than mm -hmm. the Ningalu, which was really a nice surprise. Like in the underwater world for me, it's still, it's fascinating, but still quite intimidating. So now I'm glad I was with Chris, just in case, you know, you never know. <laughs> like a shark, I would be like by myself, like freaking out. <laughs> Uh, but no, I loved it. So I'll just um, yeah, have a little break. I'm cramping a little bit on my feet and uh, maybe I'll jump back with Chris after if he goes for one more dive around here. Chris is quite in a distance now over there and I can't really see him very well from the boat anchored. I can see a lot of like movement, it spins in the air, so I assume he found a good bummy or a fish, but I wonder if I should get the anchor out and go and check him out. Yeah, he's splashing a lot and everything, because if he's got a fish, there'll be a long swim for him to come back with, so I'm going to try to get the anchor up for the first time and see what he's up to. Nice. All right. Okay. All good. The anchor is up. I'll start the motor and I'll go and see what boy is up to. Neutral. good no big fish just lots of little aquarium fish so we'll steam back have lunch and uh, maybe go snorkeling at Yanks Jetty Hello. <laughs> but that's the beauty of a little tricky. You can go anywhere even if it's very shallow. Yay! Back to base camp. For lunch. For trial. Rock. Alright, back at camp. Time to fillet a little dinner. Oh, so peaceful the nose behind. Mm. Good tasting fish this. Alright, lunch is served. Some toasted rubs, some avocado, the crumb curl tried from last night. So yeah, pretty basic, but still nice and healthy. 
wish we had a bit more condiments to make it slightly more tasty but that's okay that'll be for next time we're kind of like learning what we should have brought <coughs> bless you <coughs> oh bless you thank you oh my god chris unfortunately while he was filleting the fish cut himself i did i sliced my finger right to the bone but luckily we bought some medical stuff so yeah all good. good all good i think it stopped bleeding now yes um yeah i need a uh, proper filleting knife we'll get you one Nicely done. Okay, take your time. Nice, it didn't tie to our rope. I'm not going anywhere. Good. Yay! Uh, yeah. Welcome huh? to Yanks Jetty. Oh, first. Oh my god, look at that. It looks like paradise. It is paradise. Look at that. Oh, there's some trevally down below, lots of stripy sea perch. <laughs> Wicked. All right, I think we need to jump in a weather. I think we do too. So I just went for a little snorkel. Fortunately, the visibility is actually not that great, especially compared to this morning where we had such good visibility and it was amazing fish and coral. Here it's a bit like, yeah, murky, like a little bit of like algae on yeah, the it top. Yeah, looks like um, currents brought some sort of algae in. And uh, like lots of small fish, but not many, I like guess, oh. bigger one. And the coral is definitely not as nice, but it's definitely still a stunning spot. It's called Yanks Jetty. And you can have like all these little picnic tables, some shade. It's an amazing spot and there's actually as well camping here, which the reason we didn't consider we wanted to be closer to the spare fishing island. But we're gonna go and explore and have a look what it looks like. It's like arriving on your own deserted island. <sighs> so good, <laughs> love it. So many fishies. Like an aquarium. Good view. The sand's beautiful as well. My god, the view. It's got Inchinbrook Island in the distance over there. Over there it's the mainland. Mm -hmm. So we came from that big long jetty straight through there. <laughs> That'll be us tomorrow. Can't see it, but 
that must be like 25k away maybe, a little bit more. Wow. Very good. So cool. Just a bit too high. Very high. I got no way of opening them. Yeah. Good TV. This is so nice. Far out, it is corking. Beautiful spot. For anyone that's been in Magnetic Island near Townsville, that reminds us a lot of it. Like those big boulders like that. What? No koalas here. Yeah, just no koalas here, it's the crazy thing. That was the place we spotted the most amount of wild koalas in our entire trip. There's not many places actually in Australia where you can see them. I think we had seen like six or seven. We might go back there and not too sure yet. Oh. Everywhere. So, it's a lot cleaner on this side, so it must just be the current brought something in. God, it just feels unreal. It just doesn't feel like we're still in Oz. In Australia. Yeah. <laughs> like Tahiti or something. I feel like, yeah, what is Fiji? I don't know. Like it's. Oh, I feel, I feel so happy to be here. Like a holiday. Yeah, <laughs> holiday for my holiday. Alright, so we successfully made it back to camp. It was getting a little bit windier, but now it's completely died down. It's Our bay is really much more sheltered than what we were this afternoon. That's why probably we're quite hot as well, tenting. Mm. I'd say now that we saw the other spot, maybe tenting there would have been as well a good option. I'm preparing dinner. It's just past 6 p.m. now. So tonight I'm boiling some couscous. So those little handy sachets. This is what we're having and we will have the fish that Chris got this morning yeah. and already filleted so yeah that's on the way this cooker by the way cooks so fast it's crazy it's, hot, <laughs> hey, yeah. it's just one of those kind of disposable can ones that you load in works really well just thought we'd show some of the stuff that we brought um, that we bought recently for the boat we had the GME PLB already so always carrying that on us with the boat flashlight for signaling purposes GME UHF handheld that's a new one so that we can communicate with Coast Guard if we need to four different flares two nighttime flares two daytime flares and lastly a V sheet for signaling purposes I guess yeah so we had to get a few bits and pieces that we didn't know about we seem to be all sorted and they don't take up much room we've also got a collapsible bucket as a baler as well so yeah easy stuff really and as well, this little concoction here, if you see, we have brought with us the little Mighty Makita battery and mm. Chris found this little adapter online that you can just, I guess, plug straight back in and we can charge directly from our Makita battery. So right now I'm charging my phone and this is what we've been using as well to charge our GoPro batteries, which has been super Working handy. Yeah, it's still good. halfway and it's like the second day today. So mm, mm. Oh, really I just got it off that. eBay. It was really cheap. It was like $21 yeah. or something. something really silly. good. It's not an official Makita one. It was just like a third party yeah, Chinese manufactured work. one. And it seems, seems really good. I think next time if we're camping in a really hot place like this, we'll actually bring our Makita fan and the other battery. <laughs> And then split it over the two nights, like four hours on one night, four hours on the next. Because I think just having a little bit of more air movement yeah, through the tent would make flow. a massive difference. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I'll finish the dinner and we'll show you the finished result. What a peaceful spot for a dinner. All right. Very nice. Fish crumbed with some couscous. That feels good. Ah, oh, it's so nice when the sun is like not heating up your skin. It's just like a nice breeze. Mm. So good. So beautiful. Also, right, we'll enjoy our dinner, watch the sunset. This and fish is nice. Who knows what tonight will bring. If we see the little bandicoot marsupial, 
we'll try to take a little video of him. Man, he's an annoying bugger. Because he's very really loud. <laughs> All right. Bye, Pitty. Yeah! <laughs> Crushed it! Second ocean crossing was even easier. That oh. took us 45 minutes back to shore. So good. Oh, so good. That was such a swift crossing. That was a breeze. Oh, oh man, this boat is sick. I can't wait for the Love next it. adventure already. Yeah. <laughs> awesome.